Welcome back, sports fans. Jim Johnson and Bob Bifford here with all the Blood Bowl news and events. All right, everyone. The biggest board game event is Spiel in Essen, Germany, and it was held this weekend. And while I couldn't be there, a couple of my friends were there, and they got me some recordings from the Blood Bowl stand over at Games Workshop. So let's have a look at what they saw. So what we're looking at is the dwarf team, and it looks pretty, pretty good. I like the berserker, the way he seems to float around on his beard. Very, very dramatic. Skaven look very good too. The ball and the tail is nice. I like the ref. He's holding a big, big baguette there. Uh, the humans look good as well. What's important to realize is that if you buy a box set with one of these teams, it doesn't actually get you the full team. You need to buy additional blister packs before you have the full positionals. And what's even worse is that each positional has only one model, which means the same model is repeated for every iteration of that positional that you have. And that's really kind of sad for a, for a good Blood Bowl team. You, you like your players to be unique. So having a look at the box, what we see is that the cover is very much inspired by the cyanide artwork. We see a bigger pitch with separate dugouts. We have player cards, we have a bigger pass template, and of course a scatter template. Uh, the usual assortment of dice, block dice, uh, D16, D8. We have uh, transfers, we have the rule book, and of course two sets of sprues for the orcs and the humans in the basic box set. So the changes are mostly cosmetic, and for only cosmetic changes, the fact that each positional only has one model is kind of disappointing, but the fact that we're going to see Blood Bowl reinvigorated is already very exciting to me. If you're excited about that as well, then do follow this channel for more Blood Bowl news. Thanks.